Yeah, we need to really rethink what's going on in Irvine. What's going on in Irvine is a complete detachment from the original master plan that was worked out in the 1970s. And uh, the kind of rapidity of growth and the lack of the resources in that to serve that growth is felt by everybody. It's felt on our roads, it's felt in our shopping centers when you can't get a spot to park, and it's felt in our schools. There are parts of Irvine where the enrollment was 35% higher, I'm told, by school board members than it was expected this academic year. That's unacceptable. This needs to change. We need to have a better relationship with how growth is affecting everyday lives of our of our community. So one thing about development, and I have to bring this up because it just happened this weekend, okay, is that. I was attacked with a hit piece from a political action committee that is funded by the second biggest developer in Irvine, Five Point. Actually, they're not based in Irvine. They're an outside entity that uh, wants to basically control the Irvine City Council. They've got their favorite candidates, and uh, I'm not one of them. So they actually waged through a pack uh, a hit piece that was completely false and, frankly, slanderous against my personal character. And uh, they claimed that I used government resources uh, illegally to, for political activity. They claimed that um, I want a homeless tent city in Irvine, which couldn't be f uh, further from the truth. And uh, they claimed that I'm a politician, which is, um, I don't know, I guess maybe that's an insult to them because they're all politicians uh, that are waging this against me. Um, but uh, I'm not a politician. I'm a professor, and I've never worked in politics. I've never worked for elected officials. I am a concerned community member that wants to serve this city. And, um, uh, you know, I think I'm, I'm really disappointed in uh, the leadership at Five Point from funding, the, being the majority of the funding for this Do you know what the name piece. of the pack was so that people can look at their... The, the mailers, because we're still getting mailers. Uh, actually, they're picking up exponentially. But what Yeah, so the major pack that's funding it is called Alliance for Jobs and the Economy. Okay. And if you look at that, it's got more than half of its funding from Five Point itself. Okay. I've been in contact with their PR person who hasn't returned my calls. Um, his name is Steve Cherm. Uh, I'd love to hear from you, Steve, if you're listening. Um, and I've also been in contact with my opponents that are being supported by that pack, Carrie O'Malley, Anthony Quo, and Don Wagner, the mayor. And uh, I would expect them if they, uh, you know, if I was having a pack uh, waging false, seriously false alleg allegations of illegal behavior on an opponent, that they would denounce that action publicly and ask for it to stop. That's what I would do. That's what I would expect them to do. And I haven't heard it. This one's kind of easy for me. I'm the only scientist running for Irvine City Council. <laughs> uh, I've got a PhD in physics, um, and I think we really need uh, the kind of expertise, the kind of viewpoint that uh, science brings to elected government. Uh, if you see, uh, you know, uh, we, we really need a diverse set of viewpoints on the council. Uh, it's great to have architects running. It's great to have business leaders running. It's great to have attorneys on the city council. but. When you get involved in uh, uh, the kind of rhetoric that goes on in politics, you kind of forget about the facts. And I think what we need a lot more on our city council is the facts. Okay? That is what we need and that is what I will provide. Uh, there's what I teach in my general ed courses for students from all over campus at UCI about the difference between rhetoric and science. Okay? A lot of elected people uh, and a lot of our, our, our leaders currently are really good at rhetoric. They're really good at arguing something and convincing you they're right. We need, we need some of that. We also need the, the facts. We also need the evidence behind the rhetoric. And that's what I will bring. I will look at what is actually the traffic impact of the plans that are in place and talk to those that want to plan a, a better future. And so I'm the only candidate that's been endorsed by five members of the National Academy of Science. I'm the only candidate that uh, has been endorsed by five deans, including two founding deans at UCI. So vote for me. Thank you.